In Jamaica, we greet by saying one dog or one one man. And guess what? If we can help people that are at risk, we reduce the likelihood that they may engage in fraud, embezzlement. And also, we also would like to learn a lot about the uh, major efforts in the other jurisdictions with regard to the uh, how to promote a responsible gaming. I'm here because this is an exciting event where I get to see what's happening on a global stage from a regulatory perspective, connect with not only global regulators but also industry from around the world and researchers to understand what's happening. And really what this comes down to is something that we called two-system thinking. Okay, so essentially there are two ways that we make decisions. Um, people see gambling as just a part of life uh, and it, this is reinforced at a personal, institutional and cultural level. The social casino games are winning. They have hundreds of millions of more customers. They also are making hundreds of millions of more dollars. And the main reason for actually inviting them to Jamaica is because we felt that it gives us a good opportunity to have all the major players, all the major regulators in Jamaica. It makes it so much easier to have a network from all across the globe because you can always you always know who you are if you have a question. You know of someone who's done this before. It's a good practice, in my view, to convene a restorative justice conference with the complainant. I have to say, look, I've had the privilege now of attending three IR conferences, and this has certainly been the best um, in terms of the quality of the speakers and the breadth of topics. Um, I've really enjoyed the artificial intelligence sessions that we've had. I thought the one on day two, uh, the behavioural insights, is absolutely excellent, so relevant to the gambling sector. It's, it's been a tremendous success. We had some fantastic speakers uh, and really impactful speakers. What they've done is that they've provoked thinking, they've provoked debate, but more importantly, we've built connections. So delegates here and many first-time delegates have built connection and relationships, and I think that's going to spark a conversation and collaboration that's going to continue. But we say farewell to Jamaica now, and, and now our, our gaze turns to Boston, and we're very much looking forward to IAGA 2020.